Hey, Royal Ones. This is Miss Gigi coming at you again with another juicy episode. Let's get straight into it. So I decided to highlight 10 red flags that your spouse might be committing adultery or having an extramarital affair. So let's talk about these 10 red flags. Is your spouse always moody? Every time you got something to say, every time you say something, it's like, why are you so moody? Why are you always angry? Like, what's up with that? Like, what's up with the moose wings? It's like, uh, you, you wake up angry. You go to bed angry. It's like, you come through the door, you come from work angry. You just pissed off and mad all the time. It's like, you want somebody else? Like, what's, well, why? Why we, why we, why we, why we moody? Number two, is your spouse emotionally distant? It's like when I'm explaining to you about what's on my mind, I have to repeat myself several times. It's like you're uninterested in the conversation. It's like you're physically present, but you're mentally absent. Where they do that at? Why are we doing that? Why are you not paying attention to me when we talk, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm expressing myself, my needs and my desires? You're emotionally distant. You do not respond. I'm looking for a response. After I say something, after I ask you a question, after I make a point, I'm looking for feedback. Number three, why are we distracted by outside events? Um, you put in our marriage second. We don't spend no quality time together. That's a red flag that he get. He, he's interested in somebody else outside the marriage. Um, number four, who are we getting dressed up for? Because you get, you take a, very, a lot of pride in your appearance, but then there's nothing wrong with getting dressed up, taking pride in your appearance. It's the fact that when you get dressed up, you take a shower, you shave, you, you know, you know, you're looking real good all the time now, all of a sudden. And then you don't take me with you when you leave the house. It's like you've been doing this a lot. And you don't take me with you, but if you was just uh, taking me with you, it wouldn't be a problem. But you always going to the basketball game, football games. You always going to other events. And then you leave me at home. You don't want to spend no quality time. That's a red flag. Spending uh, more time on social media. So you slide in somebody's DMs now. I mean, like, what are we doing? They say Facebook would make messing up marriages for years. Who are you tweeting? You're on Instagram looking at somebody else's pictures. Having sexual fantasies about other ones, somebody else other than me. Are you continuously, is your spouse continuously working overtime? Uh, are you using, using work as, you know, a way of escape? You working overtime all the time. You always working uh, like every day, seven days a week. Like I know you tired. I know your body is tired. And then something ain't adding up because then you're always short on cash. So what are we doing with that money? And then why are we always making large cash withdrawals? Got to question that. Number, where we at? Number eight. Okay, so number, number nine. Where are we on number nine? Um... Accuse you of cheating. Is your spouse always accusing you of cheating? It's like, I, I, you know you're not doing anything, but then they accuse you of cheating. And then number 10, are they always not communicating with you like you used to? Like you used to call, talk every single day, FaceTime, texting, phone calls, sending pictures. Now it's like, when you call his phone or you call her phone, it's like, this person is on another call. It's like, dang, this is happen this happens often, like a lot. Like it ain't me. So, so now you you you're talking to other people. So now let me let's let's review these red flags. Your spouse is always moody, number one. Number two, emotionally distant. Number three, distracted by outside events, putting no quality time in your marriage. Spending no quality time with you, you know, putting your marriage second. Number four, getting dressed up, taking more pride in their appearance. 
when they get dressed up. They, they go out all the time by itself. One, two, three, four. Spending more time on social media. Number five, continuously working, you know, using work as a, a way of escape. Number six, not having sex as much. Uh, we used to have sex like every day or every other day. Now we're having sex once a week. It's like, what, what we do, where they do that at? Number seven, not communicating as much through phone calls, texts, and emails, FaceTiming. Number eight, always short on cash, making large cash withdrawals. What you doing with that extra money? Number nine, always accuse, accusing, always accusing you of cheating. Always accusing you of cheating. And then number 10, they're taking more pride in their appearance when they go out. Uh, have you noticed any of these red flags in your marriage? Your spouse might be committing adultery. And it's time to address these red flags and have a sit-down conversation. Meet me in the conversation. Meet me in the conversation. Let's have this conversation. Thank you so much for listening to this message. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Love, hugs, and kisses. Bye.